More news has been revealed for the upcoming EA Sports College Football 25 video game that comes out this summer, and we're going to dive deep into it today. Now, some of this news came out over the past few days or the past week, but I was out of town on vacation, so I didn't get to cover a lot of the new stuff that has dropped over the past few days. So we're going to dive deep into all that today and catch you guys up to speed. Also, when the game drops in a few months, I'm going to be doing giveaways for this game in a big way. I want to make sure to give away as many copies as possible. So make sure to follow me on my social media channels. as That's where I'm going to be doing the giveaways. Definitely want to make sure to get a bunch of free copies to as many of you guys as possible when this game finally drops this summer. And if you never want to miss out on any of the important updates surrounding this game, including the gameplay that's going to be dropping pretty soon, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you never miss any of these important videos when I drop them. So we've been getting a lot of news about this game over the past few months, and we know that coming in May, EA is going to do the big full official reveal, but people involved with the game have been speaking out. More news about the game has been coming out more and more each week, and we've got a bunch of new stuff to go over today. Now, one of the bigger things that I would say is a little bit of a bummer, and then we're going to get into some of the better things, but one of the big breaking stories that happened recently was that we found out that the National College Football Awards Association opted out of the EA Sports College Football video game. On3 did an article about this, and this is what they had to say. With the full review scheduled for May and a July release expected, excitement levels keep rising. The first college sports video game to compensate athletes for their name, image, and likeness to be included in the game. Earlier this week, the company announced more than 10,000 players opted in, so that's some good news right there. Last we heard, it was 5,000. Now we're up to 10, which means almost everybody that they have sent out these opt-ins for, they have agreed to be in the game, so that's good. We should see most of the big-name players that we want to see in this game, which is great. However, continuing on here, it says there is one entity that has chosen not to participate in EA Sports College Football 25 though. The National College Football Awards Association has declined an offer the association's president Mark Wolpert told on three. The offer that has been made is not adequate for the rights fee for the awards he recently told on three. What does this mean? Fans who buy the game and play Road to Glory or Dynasty modes will not have the chance to win the real trophies that college football players are annually awarded. Before EA Sports made the call to cancel the series a decade ago, these NCAA football awards were included. So this basically means you're not going to be able to win wards like the Bolitnikoff, the Davey O'Brien, Doak Walker, the Jim Thorpe, the Maxwell, and things like that. The awards that were specific to different players like best wide receiver, best running back, and things like that. However, the most important award has been confirmed to be in the game, which is the Heisman Award because that is under a different entity. It says the Heisman Trophy, which is operated by the Heisman Trust, will be included in the game, and that has been confirmed. So while this is just a tad bit of bad news, we'd like to see all of the official awards in the game. EA did say that these awards are going to still be in the game. They're just not going to be able to use the name like Bolitnikov for the best wide receiver. So they might just call it the best wide receiver award, or they might just have a fictitious name. They might just name it after a player that doesn't actually exist, or they might name it after a former player that they do have rights to. I'm sure they'll do something like that. So these awards will still be able to be obtained in the game. They just won't have the official name, but the one and most important award will have the official name, which is the Heisman. And I think that's the one that pretty much everybody cares about the most. I don't think the other ones are make or break and people aren't going to not buy the game over that, but it is a little bit of a bummer. Now, whether or not the College Football Awards Association is just being greedy here, or maybe EA did actually give them a super low ball, disrespectful offer, that we don't know. We don't actually know the exact numbers, but we just know that they did not accept the offer, so they have opted out. Now, the leader of the Awards Association said they're not closing the door on being in the game. They said it's still there if EA wants to make a deal, but currently they have to make the best business decision, and they felt that what they were being offered just wasn't enough. So we could still see this come to the game potentially if EA comes around on it, but honestly, I'm not sure that they will because I don't think this is an important enough thing to make or break the game. I think the most important things are having the real teams, the real players, and even the real players, if you want to get down to it, even if we didn't have real players, I don't even think that would break the game. People would still buy this game even if they were fictional rosters. So I don't think the awards is enough of a make or break thing for EA to really come around on it, but who knows, maybe they will. But hold up really quickly, stop right there. If you're into sports and you want to try to win some money, then you've got to be on Underdog Fantasy playing their Pick'em game. It's super simple. All you got to do is simply pick higher or lower on a wide variety of player stats, and if they hit, you can win some big money. And since it's currently NBA season, for example, you could take a certain player like LeBron to get over a certain amount of points, or you can take another player to get a certain amount of rebounds, or lower than that amount, whatever you think is going to happen. But the best part about Underdog Fantasy is they're going to always give you a free play right at sign up to help you win some money. If you sign up right now, they're going to 
give you Nikola Jokic to get a single point as your new user promo. And if you sign up over the weekend and you want to play, they're going to give you Jason Tatum. Next week, they're going to give you Luka Doncic. And no matter when you sign up, there will always be a free play just like this. And if that's not good enough at sign up, if you use my code Ray, R-A-Y, they're going to also double your first deposit up to $100. Meaning if you deposit $100, you get an extra free $100 on top of that to play with. And you just can't beat that. The next bit of news we got is from Chris Fowler. Now, you may remember in one of my previous videos, we had a little bit of a clip from Chris Fowler where he was talking about some of the commentary he was doing for the game, and he has since put out another update, which is pretty cool. He is one of the main announcers, one of the main voices for the game, and he's kind of putting out these little updates now, letting us know kind of where he stands, giving us some more tidbits. So here's what he had to say recently. Inside the no longer secret voiceover room for the EA Sports CFE 25, just crazy interest in the first little behind the scenes glimpse I gave. I'm told more than 2 million views on various feeds. That's insane. Uh, great energy surrounded the game. So I'll give you a quick update here. Two more sessions this week. I've recorded the pregame setups for the new 12 team playoff bracket games, the on-campus settings, the four quarterfinals and two semifinals. And it was really fun to sit in this little room in March and do a national championship game setup. Of course, Gamers are going to get to experience the new bigger bracket in the summer, way before it plays out on the field. And whoever you select in Dynasty mode and take to a national championship, Kennesaw State, Troy State, anybody, yes, to answer your questions, you will get a customized national championship shout out. If you pick Coach Prime in the Buffs and you win, um, you might get an extra special shout out. Uh, speaking of long shots, I recorded today this. Your defense forces and recovers a fumble in the end zone to win the game on the final play. It was a crazy high energy call, but yes, that is in the game. I'm told that more than 10,000 players are in the game at 600 bucks a pop. That's more than 6 million in NIL commitments. More can opt in in a second window in the spring. So Arch Manning and others who aren't in the game right now uh, could reconsider and opt in. I will keep the updates from this little room coming. Now, one of the interesting things in that video of all the things he said was that the Colorado Buffs might have a special kind of announcement if they win the national championship, which leads me to believe that maybe Deion Sanders is going to be in the game. We know that they said real coaches were not going to be in the game, but I think this could be different for Deion Sanders simply because they already have Deion Sanders rights because they use him in Madden. Now, I don't know if they would have to get a completely different rights for him as a coach. I don't really know how that works, but I know they have his rights in Madden because he is in Madden Ultimate Team every single year without fail. So maybe that does kind of transfer over and they can use him for this game. So this is just an assumption on my part, but I think maybe Dion will have some involvement in this game, even if other coaches are not licensed for this game, because I don't really know what else Chris Fowler could have meant by that, because the only really big interesting thing about Colorado as opposed to the other teams is Dion Sanders as their coach. So really curious to see what he means by that. And I'm sure we're going to find out pretty quickly once the game drops, because somebody is definitely going to win a national championship with Colorado the first week the game is out. The next person that's been speaking about this game recently is Kevin Connors, another one of the voices that has been confirmed to be in the game. He recently went on a podcast, the Syracuse Orange Sports Podcast, and he spoke briefly about the game. He spoke about how he's going to be kind of the sideline and the in-game reporter, and he actually put some details out there that we didn't already know which were interesting. So let's take a quick listen at a few clips from that podcast. I'm a, I'm a little limited in what I can say. It, Here's what I can tell you. I do uh, in-game updates and halftime. I think I can say that. If not, we're breaking news here and I'm gonna get in trouble. But I can tell you this. I had probably 25 two-hour sessions where we went through just about every possible outcome. And we hit on specific rivalries, many of them. Hey. It looks like you're enjoying the backyard brawl. Let's get you caught up on what's gone down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or in Morgantown, Western. I mean, it is so unbelievably thorough. The team is so talented. There are so many individual small items in the game. On down to players wearing hoods out of the back of their jerseys, which some players do, which you wouldn't see in Madden. It's a fast game. It's an unbelievably thorough game. It looks, and the very little that I've seen looks amazing. Is it the gameplay? Like, what do you think is, is if I'm a Syracuse fan and I want to get this game, what what's the, the grand appeal? It's the authenticity. It's you're inside the JMA Wireless Dome. Uh, 
the uniform options, the the fight songs, the commentary is going to be very personalized. It's not just here's a look at the score. The Syracuse Orange League. <laughs> it it is very authentic. It is very real. It really seems like you're watching a televised game inside the Carrier Dome. So he let us in on a few interesting things there. Number one, that he's going to be the in-game guy, the guy that's on the sideline and in between the breaks in the game. And basically a lot of stuff he was saying just kind of further confirms how much detail is going into this game as opposed to Madden, which all of us know. And we know Madden for not having the most detail and not having the best atmosphere and presentation. But everything we keep hearing about this game just further confirms that this game is going far and above what Madden does, which, which is really good. And hopefully this carries over to Madden, which would be great. But another tip bit that he spoke on that I think is interesting for the people that are really into the equipment is that he said that players are going to be able to wear hoodies underneath their jerseys which has become a more popular thing over the years and that currently is not in Madden so this is cool for multiple reasons number one we know the level of customization already sounds like it's going to be better than Madden as we've kind of already expected it to be but this could also very well mean that this is going to be coming to Madden as well because typically with these two games if one game gets a feature if it can work for Madden it's going to be in Madden as well so Unless the NFL, for whatever reason, is prohibiting that particular equipment from being in Madden, that means Madden will also have the hoodies underneath the jerseys as well, which would be pretty cool. And speaking of equipment, we had a couple of companies confirm that they're also going to be in the game. Shut Sports did confirm on Twitter that they're going to be in EA Sports College Football, which is kind of, I guess, a no-brainer. We should know that they're going to be in the game. They're going to have the official license equipment, but it's just further proof, further confirmation that they're going to be in there. And we also got a confirmation from Riddell Sports that they're going to also be in the game as well, which is pretty cool. Now, another important thing just happened earlier today as well as it pertains to college football. This is breaking news as of a couple hours ago. It said the 14-team college football playoff is expected to be formalized in the next 24 hours. The new format would begin in 2026. So already this year for 2024, we're going to the 12-team playoff, but they're already working on pushing this to 14 teams, which is really important because as we know, the college football game is going to have the updated college football playoff, but it was also said that it's it's going to be a customizable format which means you'd be able to add more teams because they even specifically said with how college football keeps changing so much lately who's to say what the college football playoffs going to look like in a year or two when it's already looking like in a couple of years they're going to be further expanding the playoff so they're putting that customization in the game to where hey if you want to have a 14 team college football playoff now if you want to just jump into that right now and not wait till 2026 you can do that in the game which is pretty cool now if you want to know about all of the official confirmed features for this game already make sure to check out this important video right here on the screen